can see the price tag. 250 likes, I buy the $150 hot sauce. Instagram or, or Facebook? <laughs> What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and today uh, I figured I would bring you guys to downtown New Orleans. Right now I'm standing on Bourbon Street, which you can see behind me. It might be a little bit loud as a uh, dude right there, he's playing the drums. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys kind of everything downtown New Orleans has to offer. Like I said, right now we're on Bourbon Street. We're actually about to go into the uh, New Orleans Bourbon House right there where I became a Bourbon Society member. I basically just like sign up for this little club. You get a free drink every month. If you try like 50 different bourbons, you get your name on the wall. Super cool. So we're going to head in there and I'm going to go ahead and get my free pour bourbon. Okay, so at uh, Bourbon House. So this is right on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. It's like one of the, the first restaurants you come to right across from the Hard Rock. So basically you, you sign up for this little club, right? You get this little like card with all those different bourbons on it and if you try all the bourbons I don't think there's like a time restraint or anything like I don't think you have to do it within a year I don't know if you guys can see how hard it's in that little black that top black right there you get oh my god too far zoomed in you get your name on that plaque and then you also get your name on the like drink menu which I don't have right now but you get your name on the menu which is pretty cool so my goal is to try all of these uh, bourbons but yeah this is the New Orleans bourbon house Like I was saying, so once a month, you come in, uh, they have a bourbon of the month. This one is Hudson Baby Bourbon, and you literally just get like a free little glass. Super cool, I guess a lot of tourists do it. There's only been 43 people that have done the whole entire thing and got their name on the wall. I'm gonna make it 44 eventually, but yeah, free drink. And Kelsey too, she doesn't drink it. She just gives her drink to me, but I'll take it. Oh, that would be funny. That's good, that's strong. Continuing the walk down Bourbon Street. Uh, Bourbon Street is super long. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like probably, I'd say at least a mile long. Um, and one of the cool things about New Orleans and Bourbon Street, like this whole area, is uh, what can you do, babe? Drink. You just walk around with an open container, a beer, like whatever you want, uh, and you can drink. Speaking of drinking, uh, we're gonna make a quick stop before our next, next uh, adventure, I guess and we're gonna get the signature Bourbon Street beverage for Kelsey. I gotta drive home so I can't drink um, anything more than I'm drinking, but we'll be here for a few hours. So, Kelsey can have a drink. It's called a hand grenade and it looks like a hand grenade. Also known as uh, New Orleans strongest drink. Sorry, I'm talking really loud. They're doing construction in the middle of the street right there. Um, we're gonna get past that real quick. Now that the uh, construction madness is done, we are gonna go to another New Orleans staple. That is Pat O'Brien's uh, to get a mint julep. That's gonna be our next stop. Right now we're still just walking down Bourbon Street. Uh, after we go there, I think we're gonna head to St. James Cathedral. If you saw in my community tab, I posted a really cool picture of the St. James Cathedral when it was like stormy out. And it's pretty stormy again today. You can kind of see not the nicest weather in the world. Um, but yeah, so next stop, Pat O'Brien's Mint Juleps. Boom, Pat O'Brien's Mint Juleps. Okay, well every other place in New Orleans lets the stroller come in, but they said you have to be 21. You know, obviously we're gonna be slipping Scarlet some, uh, some shots inside Pat O'Brien's. So that's lame. Um, I take back all the nice things they said about them. But uh, now we're gonna go check out St. James Cathedral and uh, this cool restaurant that me and Kelsey ate at like four years ago. And I also think we're coming up on a jazz band, so I will show you guys that. Uh, but I'll tell you the story about this restaurant called Muriel's in a second. Uh, super cool where we ate at. But uh, let's take a look at this jazz band and then go to the cathedral. And so evidently that's a, a famous New Orleans building. Kelsey just told me. They, uh, I don't know, laurels or something like that. People do like pictures there. There's a lot of paintings and stuff. Just wanna show you guys that. I'll get you guys a better view of it in a second, but that building right over there is uh, the cathedral. Super, super pretty. There's like this cool park all around it too, or I mean behind it, I guess. 
or in front of it. I don't know if this is the front or the back. I think this is the back, right? Is this the back? Uh, I don't know. No help. Yeah, I don't know, but there's this cool little park. So we'll walk back in the park and then I'll try to give you guys a better view because I know that might look kind of cool. Oh, actually that does look pretty sweet. Look at that, super selfie. <laughs> Maybe I'll make that my thumbnail. Well, I've never gone inside. I know you can go in and it actually is like a legit church. They do like masses in there and stuff. I'll walk into the park and give you guys a uh, good view. Now we are heading on over to the French market, basically like a big, huge flea market or swap meet, something like that. They, uh, all, they got all kinds of cool stuff, alligator heads, jewelry. We already came here and went shopping a little bit, but you guys haven't seen it, so I will show you, as well as the mules. They have mules that do tours. I don't know if I support it. I'm like, I'm kind of twisted about it, but I like to pet them. So we'll say hi to one of those guys too. So these are the, uh, the mules that they have. They give the tours of the city. Hi, what's up, pretty? I love to come and say hi to them. Oh my god, he's so cute. Hi, buddy. What's up, buddy? Yeah, so they told us they use mules um, because they're a lot more like, I guess, beefier than horses. And uh, if they get tired, they just won't move. Like, horses will work themselves to death, and mules won't do that. I love them all. I just want to sit here and hold him and hug him all day long. Or her. I don't know. Are you a boy or a girl? He's in purple, so that makes me think it's a she, but, you know? I don't know. But yeah, they're super pretty animals. I love them. I love coming down here and literally just walking by and asking all the people if I can pet them. But uh, yeah, thanks for being in the video. You want to plug anything? You want to shout anything out? No? You're not sure? Uh, what about, you got an Instagram or, or Facebook? Twitter maybe? No? All right, I guess, I guess she's kind of shy. But uh, yeah, okay, off to the French market now. Say bye. Another really cool thing you see here is just like the creativeness of like street artists. Like all that is all street art. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty much this whole little like, I mean it's not really a street, but this whole little walkway here is all different artists that show off, you know, all of their different canvas art and photographs and everything like that. It's so cool. Like kind of like New York City, there's always like artists showing off beautiful stuff, you know, everywhere. Um, this is the world famous Cafe du Monde right here, famous for their beignets. We might stop there on the way back, uh, but we got some food at Bourbon House. Now going to the French market. All right, so I lied. One more quick detour until we get to the French market, and that is this store here. Um, it's basically a giant hot sauce store. You guys know how I feel about hot sauce. Um, so I wanted to try a couple different hot sauces, but then I want to I want to show you guys something that I've been debating on buying. Me and Kelsey found it like a month ago, a few weeks ago now. I don't know what I'm gonna ask you guys for. Maybe maybe for views or maybe likes. If, if you guys get to either a certain number of views or a certain number of likes, I'll buy this, try it on the channel. Kelsey said she would try it with me too, right? Right babe, thumbs up. She has no idea what she just agreed to, but now it's on video. This hot sauce right here, uh, it's called the Source. I don't know if you guys can see that. 7.1 million Scoville units. So it's not quite as hot as the Tube of Terror or Death Nut V2, um, but it is by far the hottest hot sauce that I would ever try. And if you guys can see the price tag right there. So uh, no joke expensive. Uh, like I said, like the video, comment, watch it. And uh, if we get to a certain number, I don't know what yet, but we'll decide by the end of the video, I'll come back by the hot sauce and we'll make a video about it. Okay, so it wasn't supposed to be a hot sauce video, but that's what it's gonna turn into. We're gonna try uh, frog bone bone reaper hot sauce it's made here in Louisiana so it's a Louisiana hot sauce obviously it's made with reaper sick three ingredients peppers vinegar spices she said it'll knock me on my butt all right there you go decent size lots of garlic off the beginning I'm also already sweating because um, it's really hot out but Hmm. It's warm. I don't think that one's that bad though. Not that bad. I mean, it's definitely hot, but 
Yeah, I don't think that one's that bad. Okay, so I was gonna try some in the in the case, but there's two other people here. What's your name? Joanna. Joanna and Mark. Mark and me are gonna try. Uh, I don't know which one yet. I'll show this you guys. Right Death Nectar. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try Death Nectar. Let's do it. Oh, may you grab me a, kind of a chip, Mark? <laughs> Mark didn't get me a chip. Thanks, Mark. There we go. How much are you guys gonna get? You gonna get a lot? That's what you got there. That much? All right. There we go. Decent amount. All right. Mark got a decent amount. No, I don't know. Maybe Mark's a strong guy. Oh, a lot. Oh, she got a lot. Put some of that back. Let me see what you got there. All right, see, we all got a decent this amount. Is a lot. We all got a decent amount. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Cheers. That is that neck to hold your Bible. That is 337,000 Scoville units. I've been there with peppers. I've been there with mash, ghost pepper powder, pure chipotle, chipotle peppers. Cuttlefish <laughs> ink, squid ink, <laughs> espresso <laughs> coffee grind. Slow burn coming in. Hold on, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. That's not, that one's not that hot. It, the man looks like some bullshit. You. you gonna tell me that ain't that hot? That one's not that bad. It's, it's a little bit, but it's not it's not that bad. I'm tell you know what I think is worse than that one. That get bitten. I think I think that's worse in my opinion. But I will say it's a creeper. Yeah, baby, wait a minute. Some you gotta, you gotta let it mouth. sit. You gotta let it like. And it has a slow burn coming in. Okay. I will say, yeah, it's it's eating up. It's coming, Daddy. It's the, <laughs> it's the ghost pepper. What do you guys think? How you feel? Yeah, and if you weren't sweating before, you're sweating now, right? Yeah. It's it's definitely hot. It's hot. I got it like the like the left side. Daddy, 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 it's in. Got the throat burn. Yeah. It's warm. It's like a warm day in Florida. Give me water, Mark. Ah, yeah. We're gonna get some water. We'll be back. Hey, so shout out to those two people. I don't remember their names. I'm sorry, Joanna and Mark. Mark. Shout out to Joanna and Mark. Um, that one was pretty hot, man. I'm not gonna lie. And I don't think they're they're like super chili heads and. They were brave and they, they handled it. Uh, they handled themselves. So, if you guys watched this video, shout out to you guys. Um, all right, now we are almost to the French market. Finally, it's taken us a little while to get here. This is the French market. Once we get down to the area that has all the shops and stuff, um, I'll bring you guys back and show you all the different stuff that you can get. This area, like I said, is just all food with a little bit of like gift vendors thrown in, but we're almost to the actual like shopping area. Yeah guys, so this is the French market. It's basically just like a giant closed off, I don't, it's not like outdoors, but it's not indoors at the same time because the sides are all open. Um, but you can get everything here, alligators. There's a bunch of beads right there, masks. You can get jewelry, t-shirts, anything you want. That's New Orleans, someone was just saying hi. Uh, anything you want that's New Orleans, all here at the French market. That shirt's actually really cool. We got an alligator head for our, our voodoo shrine that's in our our New Orleans bathroom, like I said, I'll show you guys that once we get home. Uh, we gotta hit Home Depot real quick, and then we're gonna be heading home. But yeah, this is this is basically what it is. All of the vendors are like kind of similar in a way, but it goes all the way down there. It's actually really, really big. Tons of different cool stuff. They're kind of closing right now, uh, so it kind of sucks. I can't really show you guys a lot. But now we're about to walk back to our car. We're gonna head home. I also realized I forgot to show you guys the restaurant that I was talking about, Muriel's. Uh, luckily, we are about to come up on it right up here. So I will show you the haunted table that me and Kelsey ate at, um, as well as just outside of the restaurant. I'm not gonna go inside, because it's a really expensive restaurant, and your boy doesn't feel like dining five stars today. 
more like I don't feel like spending five stars today. So that table right there that you guys can see, like kind of just barely, ah, focus. Um, so basically, I think the story was that the owner or the guy that used to live here or something like that of Muriel's um, hung himself. There's a staircase that goes right around that table and he hung himself right over that table. Uh, so you have to pay extra. $45. Yeah, $45 um, for a three course meal. But I don't know, it's just kind of cool, kind of touristy. Super, super good restaurant, but it was just kind of cool. We sat at that fancy table. Um, maybe for a video, I'll do that again and we can go back and you know film and maybe we'll get something spooky. Uh, nothing crazy happened to us while we were there. But um, yeah, back walking to the car. Once we get home, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you that bathroom that I was talking about that we are trying to theme New Orleans. As promised, we got home. That's me, look like a bum, uh, getting ready for bed. Uh, but yeah, this is our little New Orleans themed bathroom. Me and Kelsey painted those pictures. I painted that one right there and she painted that one. Uh, we're gonna add more beads to this wall so hopefully eventually like the whole wall will be covered in beads. And then uh, this is our little voodoo shrine. So we got our little skeleton guy. He's got some money in his hand. It's a two dollar bill, five pounds and five euros, I think. A uh, couple candles, some bullets, this little pig thing, uh, just like random stuff. And then like when people come, they're supposed to leave something on the shrine. This, ooh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I just hit that by accident. Uh, this is gonna be the head of the shrine. It's a alligator skull or an alligator head. Uh, it's real. That have natural causes, don't worry. Um, I just need to get an L bracket to hang that up. Now I told you guys that I had one of those things from that vendor at the French market. And that's the one just to hang towels on and stuff. Boom. Uh, but that is all I have for you guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of New Orleans. If you did, go ahead, smash that like button. Like I said, 250 likes. I go, I buy the $150 hot sauce and we make a video about it. It'll suck, it's not gonna be fun, um, it's really hot. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. Tons of cool videos coming out in New Orleans. I actually have a video planned with a local New Orleans YouTuber. Um, we kinda gotta figure out what we gotta do. I'm gonna try to get permission to go to this really cool place. No guarantees, but I hope I can make it happen. Uh, so subscribe for future content. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of the video, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.